In today's video, we are going to go over the fastest way to create a nether portal in Minecraft version 1.16. However, before we get into it, I would kindly appreciate if you could drop a like on the video and if you could also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. But anyways, I think it's time to get into the video. The best part to using this method is the fact that you actually don't need to have a diamond pickaxe to get obsidian the traditional way. In fact, you can create obsidian very easily with the items I have in my hotbar. Uh, other than the food of course, just ignore that for now. Now what you'll need is one water bucket, any block that can't catch fire, in this instance I'm going to use cobblestone, and both a pickaxe and shovel. So now that you have the items I just mentioned in your hotbar, it's time to go and find a source of lava. You can find sources of lava in both the overworld and underground. However, if you want to have the easiest process here, I would suggest you find one in the overworld, as it's much more open and when you're actually creating the portal, you won't be as restricted as you would be in a cave. So now that you've located the lava source and had the items in your hotbar, it's time to actually begin building the portal. Just follow the steps carefully and I promise you, you'll have an easy time. So the first step here is that when you're actually at the lava source, you want to find a part of it that has four blocks of lava in a row. So as you can see here, there is one, two, three, four. Very simple. Now, with the block that I mentioned earlier that you need to have that won't catch fire, I want you to either place it in the second or third slot of the lava. So for this instance, I'm going to go in the second one. So now I've done that. Okay, now the second step here is you want to grab the water bucket and place it directly next to the cobblestone that I've actually placed down here. So literally just click and there you go. Now I want you to grab your pickaxe and I want you to actually mine the cobblestone that you just placed there or whatever block you're actually using for this. So just mine it and as you can see it has turned the remaining lava surrounding it into obsidian. Now it's time to actually break the two blocks below the water source. So I'm going to use my shovel to get rid of the sand, then use the lava bucket and I want to grab two sources of lava. So put one there and then grab another and put it right there. And there you have it. The next step here is very, very simple. Just follow what I do and you'll be fine. So you want to go over to the first piece of obsidian here and just stand directly behind it and jump up three times while placing the block below you. So one, two, three, pillar of three. And then you just want to put one more on the edge here. So it makes a kind of L shape. Then just walk over to the right side of the portal and directly behind the fourth piece of obsidian, place one and then another one to the left of that. And then this step is done. So now what I want you to do is I want you to grab the water source that you put down earlier. So simply right click it and then on the L shaped pillar that we created I want you to place the water right here. So as you can see it's not going to flow into the lava it's just going to go into these two sections. Now it's time to actually creating the portal. So with the lava that you have surrounding you I simply want you to just grab one here place it down. Grab another place it down. Keep doing this so follow the process I do. So grab another place it down, grab another, place it down, very simple. And then as far as I know, there should only be two more. So at the top right here, place it down. And then for the last one, place it down. So now the portal is created. So now it's time for the last step. And of course, it's very simple. All you have to do is just get rid of the water source you placed earlier. And this part's up to you actually, but I'm gonna get rid of the cobblestone. And then it's time to place the flint and steel. And there you have it, you have the nether portal. So now I'm going to show you how quickly you can actually create the nether portal with the process I just showed you. So I'm going to give it my best shot. Here we go. Cobblestone. Break the cobblestone. And then you want to break the two blocks below. Grab the lava. Place two. Done. And then you want to do the pillars. One, two, three. Done. Two more there. And then it's time to grab the water, place it there. Then we start building the nether portal with the lava pool here. And very, very soon we should be done. Grab the water source. And obviously I don't have my um, flint and still on me right now, but if I did have it on me, 
the portal would be done. But yeah, that just shows how quickly you can actually create the nether portal using this process. And as far as I could tell, that was about, probably about 20 seconds on the dot. And there are people who can do it much faster than me. So yeah, uh, if you enjoyed today's video, I would kindly appreciate if you could drop a like on the video. And if you could also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for similar content in the future. But anyways, I'm going to head out. Peace.